Hi everyone, welcome to Water Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie, you're not. I know what you're thinking, what's he doing putting out a video on a Friday? Who knows? I don't know. What's the world coming to? Firstly, apologies for being inactive so much for the month of November. It's been a big month for me personally. I've been studying, been looking at new opportunities in real life and uh, yes i've been playing tanks haven't been streaming as much haven't been doing as much content but december's just around the corner so is christmas and so is this new marathon so let's light it up and go to the garage have a look at this new tank the ap amx 30 which we're going to have kindly given to me to play around with and you'll be able to see me playing around with it later on tonight I know what you're thinking, holiday ops could be just around the corner. Who knows? It's normally about this time that people start talking about it. But before that, there's going to be a marathon. The AP AMX 30 is the marathon tank. That's right. Have a look at it. It looks kind of cool. Wargaming have been kind enough to give me one. I haven't played it yet, but you can catch me and me old mate Ziggy playing this bad boy tonight live on Tanks TV from about 8 o'clock uh, Australian Eastern Daylight Saving Time. So a quick look at the tank. Then we'll compare it to a few others. Then we'll have a look at the missions. But don't worry, you won't have to watch me play it in this video because uh, you can wait for that one for tonight. It's got 1,250 hit points. It's got a bit of a bit of turret armor. It's not slow. It's got a little bit of speed too, the top speed of... Uh, where is it? I can't find it. About 70. Yeah, top speed of 70. It can get around a little bit. It's got a pretty good camo rating. Let's have a look at the compare before we start looking at the... Uh, what's it called? Before we start looking at the marathon itself i've compared it to two other premium um french medium tanks because it's a premium french medium tank at tier 8 i haven't included the lorraine 40 ton because that's an auto loader but the amx cdc and the m4a1 revelry c i've put a little in the in the in-game compare you can do this yourself and play around with your crews but i've made it so that all my crews have got the same um crew skills the equipment might be slightly different though it doesn't look too bad it looks it's, it's the best of the three for armor for hull armor and for turret armor at least at the front and um, the gun isn't too bad. Where's the gun stuff? Uh, 300 alpha damage compared to 240 with the CDC or 390 with the A the M4A1 Revelarisi. Even though the Revelarisi has got a higher um, alpha, uh, this thing's quicker than the Revelarisi. So I guess that's 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 the trade-off, right? DPM is normally around about here somewhere. The best DPM is actually in the CDC, uh, but 2133 isn't too bad. You could probably get that up a little bit by adding food. I don't think I've got food in mind the way this one's currently set up, so that'll that'll help it a little bit. And uh, it's comparable to the Revelarisi, just a little bit less. Hit points is okay, but not great. 1250, which is less than the other two tanks. Armor is better, though, and so is the speed. Where's the speed here? 70 k's an hour. That's pretty quick for a medium tank. Uh, in fact, that's very quick for a medium tank. Compared to 57, 13 k's quicker than the CDC, which is no slouch. Uh, but uh, we know the Revelarisi is pretty slow. Uh, the traverse speed is okay, not bad compared to the other two, uh, but the camo is a lot better. So we'll see if that's if that's an error or not. It seems cons it's like twice as good as the other two, so I'm not sure. I haven't got camo notes or anything else like that um, in this setup. It looks pretty balanced. I'm not sure. I haven't played it yet. Uh, if you've played it, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you've played it now it wouldn't be a marathon without a, a wouldn't be a marathon video without talking about the marathon and of course uh, nothing like leaving things to the last minute Stewie. the marathon's just started and i'm still recording the video maybe it should have been out right now this is it this is the one there's two chapters the first chapter is uh, to get the tank for free or at a discount it's the usual 10 percent discount per chapter and it's it's the usual kind of uh, of mission so the stage one is the easiest stage 10 is the hardest just like normal get 3500 damage um that's that's in one game, once. That's for tier 9 and 10. So there's two two alternatives. If you're a tier 9 slash tier 10 player, you might be looking at uh, this one, the Mission for Mastery. If you're not, if you're not right into the higher tiers, a little bit like me, you might go for these commitment ones, which might take more games, but at lower tier, so it might be a little bit more enjoyable for yourself. So for stage 1, it's either 3,500 damage in one game and win, or uh, 3,000 points of base experience, um, over the course of however many games, tier 6 to 10. So you can do both at the same time if you're playing tier 9s or 10. Have a bet each way if you like. I know a lot of people like to do that. Stage 2, which will give you another 10% discount on the tank. Mission for Mastery. Top 
buy XP twice or do 5,000 base experience over any amount of games from tier 6 to 10 and so on. Stage 3 is to get 850 points of base XP three times. That's a pretty good game. It might not be an ace, but it might be a, a first or second class or maybe a third class depending on the tank. Mission for Commitment is to do 9,000 base experience uh, and of course with all these base experience um, scores, it counts... Um, only if you're in the top 10. I'm just going to go back a bit and go over the rewards. So for stage 1, it's some premium consumables. For stage 2, it's some personal reserves. For stage 3, it's more personal reserves. For stage 4, it's premium time and personal reserves and premium consumables and also five French training booklets. And again, for stage 4, seven times uh, do 15% damage in tier 9 or 10 or do 17,000 base experience. For stage 5, the rewards is some equipment which is pretty cool, as well as uh, directives and personal reserves and premium consumables, 28,000 base XP or finish top on both teams by damage eight times. But you need to do 3,200. So you can do it getting a few hundred uh, damage and then winning by capping isn't going gonna, isn't gonna, to gonna do it. Uh, stage six, the reward for stage six is some credits, some personal reserves, directives and premium consumables. Nine times get 900 base XP. Now with base XP, that doesn't count your premium time, it doesn't count your multipliers. It also, um, you've got to be up the top. 3,000, mission for commitment, that's 3,000 base experience. Again, only top 10 and from tier 6 to, to tier 10. So getting out your tier 2s and 3s isn't going to help with either stage. Level 7 gives you more premium time, uh, a piece of equipment, an enhanced gun laying drive, some personal reserves and premium consumables. Nine times you need to do 4,500 damage, nine times in a tier 9 or 10. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good score. Again, might not be an ace, depending on the tank, but uh, it's still some pretty good ones. The alternative is to grind it out by doing 32,000 base experience. Level 8 gives them premium premium time, uh, credits, personal reserves, and another crew book for, for the Frenchies. Or you can do top by both teams in XP 15 times at tier 9 or 10. That's going to take a few games, even if you're a good player. It's definitely going to take more than 15 games or 36,000 base experience. Again, that's going to take more than 15 games as well for tier 6 to tier 10. Level 9, which is the penultimate level for getting this tank for free. I know some of you are going to try to get this tank for free. You can get 28 games as top on damage on your team. So it doesn't matter what the enemy team does. So it's going to make it a little bit easier, but 28 times top by damage in a tier 9 or 10 vehicle. That gives you a vertical a V-stab. Five French booklets, three days of premium time and half a million credits. Alternatively, you can get 30,000 basic speed in uh, in any tier from tier 6 and up. And for the final stage, you get this bad boy for free. There's the mastery mission, 35 times um, top on your team by XP 35 times in the tier 9 or tier 10 tank or 50,000 base experience. It'll give you a full crew with the Brothers in Arms perk trained to 100% uh, as a zero skill, which we all know what that is. The tank for free and a garage slot, just in case you need it. Who doesn't want more garage slots? Moving on to Chapter 2. Now, this is the smart thing to do, Wargaming. This is what Wargaming are getting clever. This is to entice people to buy the tank outright at the beginning of the event. Um, and gives you another mission that you can do each day. So it says here it's unavailable because we haven't completed Chapter 1. You've got to complete Chapter 1 first or buy the tank. And that gives you two weeks. And these, these rewards are not too hard. Do 4,000 damage over every, any number of battle. We'll give you a discount on the style. So you can buy the style here. We'll get to that in a minute. And also some, uh, some personal reserves. Now these are sent by date. So you can't take eight days to do all of the missions and get the tank and then do all of them. It's their... their they're concreted in by date. Premium type, personal reserves, um, and obviously each level of this mission, they give you those free things along the way, and they also give you a 12.5% discount on the um, on the style. We'll have a look at the style in a minute, but that's what it looks like. And um, score, and they're not they're not really really hard missions. You can have a look at these in the garage if you're going back. It's just like do 4,000 damage over at any amount of battles, even if you're a low tier player like I am. That's not too far. Be top three, but experience once. That's not going to be too bad. Win four games. That could be challenging. Get four kills over any number of battles. 17 armor penetrating shots. Two times get 700 base XP. Well, we skipped one for the 2nd of the December. Is to do 1,400 hit points of damage in one game. 4,000 points over any number of battles. That's base experience points. 2,500 damage in a game. And, of course, uh, get two kills. That's for the final one. The style. Let's have a look at the style if we can see it in game I think you normally can you normally can and um, offer unavailable okay maybe it's here maybe it's not here I don't know 
Okay. That's what you get live. We're recording live, folks. It's not going to, it's not, it's not quite there yet, but we'll find out. Don't worry about that. We'll find out. The, the, the skin looked pretty good in the, uh, we'll try it. We'll try it one more time. But if you go to tank purchase, that'll, uh, here we go. We might be able to see this in garage. You can buy the tank and there's a the price there. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's $123. That's Australian dollars. If you want to buy it outright at the beginning. And that skips over the uh, the first set of missions that we all went through. Unlocks a second set. But of course, when, you, when you're buying it, you're getting all that stuff that, that you might unlock uh, on the way to um, doing those missions. The first aid kits, the training booklets. Um, all the other personal reserves, the equipment, six days of premium account, the crew, the garage slot, and of course the, um, what are they called? The directives. I don't know, 123 bucks, what do you reckon? Are you going to buy it? You tell me in the comments below. I'm not sure if I will or not. I'm going to play around with this. You'll be able to see me playing this uh, very tank uh, tonight with uh, with me old mate Ziggy. Um tonight on Tanks TV and the World of Tanks ANZ channel. I'll also be playing it Sunday night on my channel. Well, uh, on my channel. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash JP. Link down below. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe. Hopefully this has been a little bit um, useful. If it hasn't, then I apologize. Once again, sorry for being inactive over the last few weeks. I've been very busy in real life. We are um, doing some big changes which I'll with 2022 we're getting ready for 2022 here at get on board studios already and um, I'm looking forward to what's going to be huge um, if you haven't already um, consider clicking the like button subscribe getting on board we're also on Facebook Discord Twitter Twitch links all down below you're crazy if you don't also check out Water Tanks ANZ channel I'll be on there tonight uh, Napalm will be on first and then me old mate Ziggy and myself will be there um, playing this tank and uh, maybe playing a few other tanks as well. If you're doing the mission, good luck. Smash it out. I hope you get the tank for free. If you're not, well, I don't think I'll have time to do the mission either. I might buy it. I'm not too sure. I'm going to see how it's like. You can see us playing it live on Twitch uh, tonight, Sunday night, and probably during the week next week as well uh, on that link that just came up on the screen. Once again, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope this has been informative. I reckon it's a pretty, it's a different looking tank. I'm not sure what to do it. Sorry, it hasn't been a proper review, but that's not really how I roll. And um, if we can see the, if we can see the, can, can we see? I'm going to try again to see, see if we can see the, see if we can see the, ah, I'm pushing the wrong buttons. Glad you can't see that. Um, I'm just going to see if I can see the, that skin once again, because that was, uh, that was, Not coming up. Not sure why. The skin looks good, though. Trust me. It's on the video. The video on the Water Tanks Asia or whatever server you're on. The video on those those websites uh, will be pretty informative. Again, once again, thanks for watching. You can see us on Water Tanks ANZ Twitch tonight. Ziggy and myself from about 8 o'clock. Uh, that's uh, Melbourne, Sydney time. And also, uh, during the week next week, we'll be playing it on this channel here. Stewie JP. Get on board. Like. Subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Uh, good luck in your marathon. Don't burn yourself out. Don't spend too much if you can't afford it. Look after yourself. Look after your mental health. Take care and see you all next time.